Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a one year fridge review. So if you haven't seen my first video, go ahead and check that out here first and you can come back to this video. I've had this fridge for about a year now, no real problems, it's about the same I would say. I'm just going to show you what I store in here and what temperature I keep it at. We're going to start with the freezer. I have just a little bit of food in here that overflowed from my main fridge. Um, it's some mackerel, kotongo, some hopang, and my hanyak all the way in the back there. I don't really keep too much. This one I broke because I was cleaning it, so that's my fault. You'll notice there's a lot of icing in the freezer if your temperature of the fridge is cold. So that's the only thing, your freezer, you do have to manually defrost it. So I just use a little cheese board cutter, cheese knife to just scrape that off. Not a big deal. That's pretty much it for the freezer. It works pretty well. No real issues other than the fact that it does ice up a little bit. Now let's get to the fridge portion. Here I store mostly beverages as you can see. I have a main fridge for my food so I just keep the beverages in here. As I mentioned in my first video, the back panel or the back wall of the fridge does frost up a little bit and it still does but there is a drip in the back and also in the back of your fridge. So I haven't really had too many problems with that. The door trays are pretty sturdy. You can remove them if you want. I bought this mainly for my custom cake orders so I can remove the trays and my cakes won't smell like kimchi and also for beverages and it's been working pretty well. I usually keep my temperature at three or four but if you plan on using this as your main fridge, I would suggest putting the temperature up a little bit higher but just keep in mind that it will frost up more the higher the temperature. I hope that helps and I'll see you guys later.